hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is your first time stopping by a warm aqua to you do not hesitate to subscribe and be part of this family so today we are making the famous flour chips or Ghana chips you will love this recipe so if you are interested in this video please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my sub's kitchen you proud to be part of my sub's kitchen so here are my list of ingredients i have my blended onions and garlic i have my salt nutmeg i have my butter that is unsalted butter i have my all-purpose flour and my water so let's go ahead and start the process. I'll add my nutmeg salt into my flour and then mix this all until it is well mixed. If today is your first time stopping by a warm aqua to you, I'll then add in my butter and then mix this all together until the texture becomes a bit sandy. I'll put my fork down and then use my hand to mix the butter into the flour to become just like this. You can fold it and then easily break into it. So that is it. I'll now go ahead and add the paste of onions and garlic and then mix this all together until it is well mixed. I grinded my onions and the garlic with my earthenware ayua. That's why it's a bit thicker. I didn't want it to be more watery. So I'll use my hand to mix this nicely and then come in with my water. I'll be adding my water in bits just to make sure that it doesn't get too soft. If today is your first time stopping by a warm aqua to you, do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel and be part of this family. And to my returning subscribers, God bless you. I appreciate your support so, so much. Just look at this. That is the texture that we're going for. So I will divide my dough into three parts. I'm doing this just to make it easy when I'm rolling it out. So it's beautifully done. I'll now wrap it into my foil and then bring it into my fridge for about 30 minutes before we go ahead and roll it. So here is it after 30 minutes. I will sprinkle some flour on my working surface and then bring my dough onto it and use my palm to spread it out before I flour my rolling pin and begin rolling this beautiful beautiful dough that we have here so i'll roll it until it becomes a bit flat not really flat and then i'll go ahead and slice it with my pizza cutter it's just like what you say i'll cut through it this is just a simple method you cut it horizontal and vertical you see how easy that is you are done I'll list all the ingredients in the description box below do not forget to check it out the second method you can use your knife and then cut through it so simple if you don't have the pizza color you can just cut it just like this and you are done also and you can also use your scissors to cut these beautiful chips it goes faster and you are done so i have my oil on the stove i'll put just one chips in there to see if it's hot and then go ahead and add some of the chips into our oil I'll now stir to separate the chips from each other 
and we continue to fry you have to keep an eye on this if not it will burn I'm just separating it from each other and then just look at these beautiful chips that we have here you just go ahead and take it out from the oil yes if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by subscribing and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video you will be first to know you go ahead and fry the second batch of these chips this is so delicious we always have chips during Christmas at home it is so simple to make and it makes every child happy even we the bigger ones we really love it we mostly serve our guests with the chips and with some soda don't forget to make this for your family this coming holidays they will really love it who doesn't like chips <laughs> Just look at these beautiful, beautiful chips that we have here. Thank you so much for staying with me till this time. I really appreciate your time. Just look at these beautiful chips that we have here. I stored some in my airtight bottle. And of course, I'm going to enjoy this with some beautiful cranberry juice over there. If you really like this video, please give me some thumbs up comment like and share this video with your family and friends until i come your way next time with another beautiful recipe bye for now